Hello everyone, I'm Becky Goldsmith with Piece of Cake and this is my new book, Hand Sewing, and I'm so excited. This is the quilt that is patterned inside the book and give me just a second, let me switch the camera and I'll show you what the book looks like inside. The book feels beautiful in your hand. It has that soft, silky finish on the cover, and it's a beautiful size. Bends well, feels good. When you open the book, you'll flip through the book and notice that there are lots of lovely pictures. It's easy to read. The table of contents will lead you through the book. There are instructions for five different kinds of hand sewing techniques. The English paper piecing section is very complete and it covers a variety of techniques. Two different ways to sew your pieces together. I talk about very common techniques that you'll need to know not just in the blocks inside this book but in all of your English paper piecing. The blocks included in the book, and there are patterns for eight blocks, do not come with pre-cut papers. You make your own. And some of you may be thinking, well, gee, I don't want to do that. But really, you do. Because when you are in charge of cutting the shapes apart, you have options. The biggest one here is in the corners. I drew these blocks with three pieces. But you may not want to have three pieces there. It may not suit your quilt. Since you're in charge of the scissors when you cut this apart, you can decide to leave that triangle together as one piece. Or you can do what I did, and that was leave the two outer pieces together and have one strip here. You get to pick. The book has a fold flat binding, so it will be easy for you to copy these onto cardstock. And there is a brand new product that I got to be involved with. I got to choose the right cardstock that is perfect for English paper pieced blocks. And I want to add right here, I mention it in the book, once you get used to the idea that you can make your own papers, it opens up a world of design opportunities even outside of this book. There are hand applique techniques for needle turn hand applique. Lots and lots and lots of techniques. So many techniques. You will be a pro by the end of this. And then there's wool hand applique techniques because it's different. Because in needle turn you have a seam allowance to deal with. In wool applique, you do not. And the fabric is different. Felted wool is a, is a different fabric than woven cottons. And I show you how to do the blanket stitch around your wool. And let's see, those are the hand applique blocks, both the center medallion and the little basket block. There's a section on hand piecing. And while you could English paper piece the outer borders, it really is much faster if you hand piece them. Plus, once you know how to hand piece, you can use that technique to set the whole quilt together. And you know what? Hand piecing is easier and faster than you think it will be when you start. I promise you, it really is. These techniques are so portable, you can make this quilt anywhere. You don't have to sit down to a machine at all. Once your top is together, I walk you through how to hand quilt your quilt, whether with traditional or big stitches. I have rediscovered the joy that comes from hand quilting your quilt. It really is a lovely way to spend some time. Hand sewing began as an online block of the month adventure, and four quilters finished their quilts before the book went to press. One of them is Linda Jenkins, who was my partner for many years in Piece of Cake. 
she made her quilt incorporating a lot of wool applique. Then there's these quilts made by Kathy Babcock and Severine Passaplan. These quilts, in addition to the quilt that I made, will give you ideas about how you can change the colors in your own quilt. This one made by Sarah Myers is really interesting because she changed it up completely. She took out the basket blocks and she rearranged the setting and she went off in her own direction and I love it. It's just a beautiful quilt. Inside the back cover when you open up this flap there is a chart that converts yardage to meters. For those of you who live outside of the United States, this will come in very handy. I hope you've enjoyed seeing what's inside the book. I look forward to hearing from you and to seeing the wonderful quilts you sew by hand. May you have many happy stitches. Thanks for watching.